Hi there, so if you are a second, third, fourth, fifth, or sixth grader, you got a laptop case like this. And inside this pocket right here is your power cord. So you wanna make sure that you have this plugged in to the wall. This is a strap that goes on to the front and back if you're gonna carry the case. But you wanna make sure that this little plastic thing comes off. You're going to plug this into the wall and this part goes into your laptop. So you're going to unzip this case and your laptop will be strapped in with these little straps right here. If you want to take it out, you can. If you want to keep it in the case, that's fine too. So I'm going to move it out of the way because I want to show you how to use this. So you have your laptop. Some of the kids had this last year, the sixth graders did. This right here on the side with that little dot, that is your power button. So you're going to lift the top. It's hard for me to do with one hand. And then once it's open, you're gonna click on that button. And you know if you did it right, if that little dot lights up, that means that you have turned it on and give it a minute because it's gotta load. You know if you did it right, if it popped up like that. And now you are ready to go. So you are going to click any key, it doesn't matter. I always like to use the enter key. And then it's gonna ask you to click it again. And now you have your login. We're used to logging in with our own logins, but at home right now, we all have the same one. So right now you're gonna, on the top, you're gonna type in take home. It's all lowercase, just like this. And then you're gonna click on the bottom and we're gonna type in CPS United, U-N-I-T-E-D. And if you're not sure if you did it right, that little eyeball, you can click on that to see if you did it right. And if you're good, then you can click on the arrow. If you made a mistake, no big deal, just fix it. And then when you're done, you're gonna click on the arrow. And then you gotta wait for you to log in. Now, if this is your first time using this laptop, you want to first go down to the bottom. You're gonna see a little world. On mine, it looks like this because I'm already connected to the internet because the next step is to connect to your internet. So you're gonna click on that little world and then it's gonna pop up a list of choices for your Wi-Fi. So I'm at Woodford right now and I'm connected to Woodford, but you'd have to click on it and then type in your password for Wi-Fi to get connected to the internet. Once you do that, then you're gonna find your little icon. This is called the desktop. And you're gonna find the little icon that says Google Chrome. So you're gonna double click on that. Oh, this is your trackpad. Maybe you're used to the mouse. This is like clicking on the mouse. So just like you would click on the mouse, you know, you usually hold the mouse like this. This is clicking on the left click and this is the right click. So I double clicked and now I wanna go up to the top corner and find where that little head and shoulder circle is. So I'm gonna move my mouse to it and I'm gonna click on it. And then I'm going to click on turn on sync. This is where you're gonna log in with your Google. So all the kids have your own username. Remember how we log in on the top? That's your username. So mine's S-M-I-J-E-N-N. -N. And then we're gonna do the at sign. And if you remember how to do the at sign, the at sign is on top of the number two. So we hold down the shift button with one finger or one hand, and then you're gonna touch the two. And that's gonna add that at sign. All the kids have Cincinnati, C-I-N-C-I-N-N-A-T-I-P-S dot O-R-G. Once you get this done, click on the next button. And then you're gonna type in your password. Your password is your birthday. And you still have that little eyeball that you can touch to make sure that you're typing it in okay. So I'm gonna type in my password. I'm not gonna show you my password, but I have my password done. If I wanna look at it, I can click on this little eyeball. And when I have it right, I'm gonna click on next. 
The next thing you wanna do, you're gonna get this little pop-up. You wanna click on link data. And then it's gonna ask you to turn on your sync. And yes, you do wanna do that. So you're gonna click on the blue button that says, yes, I'm in. And look at that up here on that little circle, you should have a little letter for the first of your name. I put my picture there, which is why it's my picture. But if you had anything on your Google last year, these are called extensions, these are called bookmarks, those might pop up and that's okay. That just means that you're logged into your Google and maybe now it looks a little bit familiar to you. So that's Google. And then Clever is the other thing we use a lot. And Clever is also on your desktop. And if you click on your Clever, look at that. There's a button that says Log In with Google. Well, we already logged in with Google, so we can click on that little Google button. Sorry, I have my extensions popping up. That won't happen to you if you don't have any. You're going to click on Log In with Google. And then you won't have this because you're not a teacher, but you'll get to see all of those little buttons. And it will look a little bit like mine. Like you'll have the teacher's pages up here. Oh, there's that code.org. We've used that before. There's PowerSchool. So there's a lot of different apps that you can get to. There is a Schoology app too. So you could click on this to get to your Schoology. And then same thing, it's asking you to sign with your Google. You're gonna click on your Google and it will remember your login. Another way to get to your Schoology is it's an app on your, oh, I'm sorry, an icon, not an app. It's an icon on your desktop. So right here, there's Schoology. You can just double click on this and it's gonna take you to your Schoology page and you are gonna log in with Google. So as you see, a lot of things are added on with Google. So you, the, you definitely want to make sure that you go up here. The first thing that you do is you log in with your Google. If you need any help, let me know and I will help you. But hopefully this helped you get ready with your laptop.